change is unavoidable, often sparking controversy. Taking a leap of faith away from a well-established and beloved model necessitates considerable reflection, weighing the decision to move forward carefully. Within Harley-Davidson, discussion surely ran deep when it came to updating the Road Glide and Street Glide, revered as quintessential representations of the Grand American Touring Bagger. These iconic models have stood the test of time, ingrained in the minds of cruiser enthusiasts whenever the term bagger is uttered. The 2024 iterations of these models mark the passing of the torch from the outgoing Rushmore generation, representing the most significant updates in a decade. The redesign aimed to refresh the aesthetics, enhance rider and passenger comfort, revolutionize the infotainment system, and, naturally, boost power, aesthetic, and illumination. Visually, most changes are subtle, a deliberate choice, presumably. Most prospective buyers weren't clamoring for a complete overhaul. Brad Richards, Harley-Davidson's Vice President of Design and Creative Director, likened the process to orchestrating a visual symphony, ensuring all elements harmonize seamlessly. Notably, lighting received attention in the 2024 models. The Street Glide maintains its iconic batwing silhouette dating back to 1969, now subtly refined, particularly evident in the updated LED headlight design featuring an omega-shaped signature light and integrated LED eagle wings. For turn signals, conversely, the Road Glide boasts a prominent LED headlamp at its center, accompanied by a W-shaped LED running light that incorporates the front turn signals. The teardrop-shaped fuel tank received tweaks, now accessible without a key for the fuel cap. A new beveled design seamlessly flows into the side covers and saddlebags, maintaining a cohesive visual language from front to back. When it comes to color and trim options, there's a spectrum of choices available. Each model offers six color options paired with chrome trim, and if you opt for the blacked-out trim, our preferred choice, seven colors are on offer. The black trim incurs an additional $1,350 cost on each model, while the paint options can add up to an extra $850. Milwaukee 8 117 engine. Both models receive updates with a new engine. While the power plant exclusive to the 2024, Street Glide and Road Glide is dubbed the Milwaukee 8 117 for this year. It differs from the 117 CI unit propelling other models like the Breakout 117 and Low Rider S slash Saint modifications have been implemented in the intake and exhaust systems to enhance power slightly. Boasting a claimed 3% increase in horsepower and 4% more peak torque, Harley reports output figures of 105 horsepower at 4,600 RPM and 130 pound FT of torque at 3,250 RPM. The displacement remains consistent at 117 CI, 1,923 cubic centimeters. Featuring the same bore and stroke dimensions of 103.5 by 114.3 millimeters and a compression ratio of 10.3 to 1. In pursuit of better heat management for the rider and passenger, particularly during slow speed riding, this iteration of the 117 engine adopts liquid cooled cylinder heads previously seen on last year's CVO Street Glide and CVO Road Glide models. A radiator mounted on the lower front frame circulates coolant to the exhaust valves, initially cooling the rear cylinder head before reaching the front cylinder. A fan positioned on the rear side of the radiator directs airflow downward beneath the motorcycle, further isolating the cockpit from excessive heat. Enhancements to the airbox include a 50% increase in volume, 4.0 liters, compared to the 107-114 engines. Downstream from there, the intake tract undergoes a complete redesign, featuring a new aluminum intake manifold that facilitates a smoother and more direct airflow path into the enlarged 58mm throttle body, up from 55mm. Changes to the cylinder head include reshaped combustion chambers and oval intake ports with low-profile intake valve seats to boost velocity. While a slight bump in compression from 10.2 to 10.3 colon 1 enhances low RPM torque and fuel economy. So, how do these engine modifications measure up? To begin with, let's recall that the previous standard Street Glide and Road Glide were powered by the 107CI version of the Milwaukee 8. The 117CI version featured in these new models delivers a substantial increase in performance, boasting 22% more horsepower and 19% more peak torque from its additional 9% displacement compared to the 107. 
Another contributing factor to the enhanced performance of both models is their noticeable weight reduction. With the Street Glide shedding 18 pounds and the Road Glide shedding 16 pounds compared to their predecessors. Unfortunately, our street rides on the Street Glide and Road Glide were curtailed by the atmospheric river weather system that had recently lashed Southern California before making its way towards us in Las Vegas. However, we had a solid backup plan. Braving the elements the following day to ride the Street Glide 335 miles back to the Cycle World office in Irvine, California, ensuring ample seat time. Departing Las Vegas on a chilly and damp February morning, we settled into our rhythm, taking the less direct route down the 95 through Searchlight and on to Interstate 40. This route, less traveled than Interstate 15, offers some enjoyable twists, turns, and undulations after miles of monotonous straight roads. The counterbalanced Milwaukee 8 engine proves to be a charismatic companion, delivering enough character to remind you of its hefty 45-degree V-twin nature while maintaining smoothness during cruising, ensuring relaxation over long-distance journeys. The engine's low-end power facilitates effortless launches from stoplights in urban settings and provides ample acceleration for overtaking traffic, particularly when sport mode is engaged, more on this later. Opting for rain mode results in a more subdued engine response, so don't expect the same enthusiastic acceleration off the line. On the highway, maneuvering through traffic and alongside trucks, a swift downshift to fifth gear in the appropriate mode awakens the engine, facilitating swift and confident overtaking maneuvers. Negotiating twisty roads, the 117CI engine's mid-range torque impresses, smoothly propelling the bike out of corners without requiring excessive gear changes, thanks to its broad sweet spot for spirited riding. The six-speed transmission delivers a robust and assured shifting experience at the foot lever. The slipper-slash-assist clutch performs consistently and predictably, crucial for instilling confidence during slow-speed maneuvers on an 800-pound bagger, such as making U-turns. While our time on the road glide was significantly abbreviated, we managed to confirm that there's virtually no disparity in engine performance between the two models. Both bikes share identical powertrains and transmission ratios, with weight differences of no more than 25 pounds, the Road Glide being the heavier of the two. Consequently, in terms of outright performance, there's little discernible distinction from the rider's perspective. Electronic Rider Aids Both models receive substantial electronic updates, including selectable ride modes enabled by ride-by-wire throttle control. Each bike offers four modes accessible via the right bar-mounted control pod. Road mode serves as the default option for everyday riding, featuring a smoother throttle response, reduced mid-range power, and heightened traction control and ABS intervention. Sport mode, in contrast, unleashes full power with a more aggressive throttle response, minimal traction control, and increased engine braking. Rain mode provides the gentlest throttle response and diminished power output, with limited engine braking and the most conservative settings for traction control and ABS. For those inclined to personalize their experience, custom mode allows riders to tailor settings to their preferences across all parameters. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.